This project is based on the QX5252F solar LED driver. The parts used in this project are one QX5252FIC, one shot key diode 1N5817, one 1.2 volt NICAD battery removed from a 9 volt rechargeable battery, one 30 by 35 millimeter 2 volt solar panel, one 10 microfarad multi-layer ceramic path, a 470 microhenry inductor, two 3-volt flashing LEDs, some bare copper wire, and heat shrink tubing for installation. Afterwards, the circuit begins to take shape and look like this. We still need to add a capacitor, LEDs, solar panel, and the battery. Once the circuit is complete, I encase the project in resin. The final size is 40 by 40 by 20 millimeters. After 24 hours, the resin is cured and I attach a small hook and use clear fishing line to hang it up outside like a wind chime. Okay, so now I have most of my parts here and uh, I have bent them into shape that makes it easier and more compact um, for soldering and for the project because the final circuit should be smaller than the size of that solar panel. Um, so it'll fit in the silicone mold for the resin uh, part of the final project, final molding. So let's begin soldering. Next part, we'll go ahead and solder the ground, the bare wire here. Snuck over the insulator. Put a little bit of 
sun in here. Components down. Let's see how everything looks. We have our QX5252F solar LED driver on there. We have our diode. We have our capacitor, and we have our inductor. So, okay, I'm going to head and uh, I have my positive and negative here, so I'll go ahead and trim some of the wires here. Pulled off nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and tin these ends. So I have a good connection there. Let's go ahead and trim it. Go ahead and remove the negative wire coating. Alright. Get ready to hook up our battery. Alright, now I like to put some solder on this battery. And so the negative <clears throat> battery goes here on the third pin, the one with the insulator, and the positive will come back uh, to pin number two and we can put it just in front of this uh, inductor. Okay, the next part is going ahead and soldering our LEDs together. Now, in this case, the LEDs, I'm gonna go ahead and put into series. And um, I, I like to put it in series because it generates, the solar um, IC will generate up to five volts. And uh, since I have a 470 uh, millihenry um, inductor, it provides about six milliamps of power or six milliamps of current, which uh, these things um, will light up at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in series, two LEDs in series. Part is positive. And of course you wanna be on the other side of that capacitor.
All right, the solder looks good. We'll go ahead and do some trimming. Remember, you want to be the same size as the solar panel. And uh, I chose to have the lights uh, pointed out or in the back, just like on this one. Um, I suppose I could have done it through the side also, but uh, I chose to, to do the back. Before I uh, hook up the battery, I like to test it first to make sure everything's working. And so I have my power supply. I have it set to, uh, I'm gonna turn down the lights here. I have it set at 1.17 volts. And uh, when I get it dark in here, these lights should come on and we'll look at the uh, current it provides. So let me just set this down a minute. Drop the lights. All right. So it's now dark enough, and it's showing about six milliamps of current to draw. And the uh, flashing LEDs are offing right now. Oops. Put power on pin two, positive on pin two, and negative on pin three. All right. Now we just have to remember this battery, there's no switch in the circuit. So this battery is on all the time and the circuit's live all the time. So just be careful not to short anything else, uh, anything else <clears throat> when you install this. Pin two is the positive side of the battery. Just get some sun on here. So, part one of the, uh, what I call my fairy cube, is completed. Um, we have the QX5252F IC. We have our inductor. We have our diode. We have our two LEDs, our rechargeable battery, 1.2, and then we have our solar panel. So we'll go ahead and give it a quick test by turning off the lights. Recycling. All right, and remember those two LEDs are in series. Let's see if we can take a voltage measurement here. Maybe we'll get a voltmeter. After the capacitor, and generating between, uh, I saw as high as 5.4 volts and down to three depending what the diodes are doing. So um, let me see if I, oh, there's 5.8, 5.16 volts is the highest. And then it oscillates. All right, this is the second part of my two part video on um, a solar light featuring the QX5252F solar LED driver. 